Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. This is the first tutorial of a set of tutorials that I have created uh, using C++ and OpenCV on Linux. Uh, we have a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started. I have included an IPython notebook or a Jupyter notebook here with all of the steps. So all you need to do is follow along. I'm going to include this IPython notebook in my GitHub page. Uh, it's going to be right here. Right now it's empty, but uh, when you get when you go back there, it's going to be in there. So what I'm going to be doing, you just follow along this set of tutorials and steps. Okay. So all you need to do is is uh, copy and paste into your terminal and make sure that everything is updated, upgraded, and mine is gonna tell me that it's mostly upgraded, so it's all good. But in your case, it will not, it might not be the case, so don't worry about it. So, okay, so do that for each one. Make sure that you install the build dependencies, and I'll do a couple so you know what to do. It's just copy and paste, and it's gonna go, here go paste yes and it's mine and i already have on zip i already have package config i already have cmake so that's why but do that for all of them make sure it's gonna take a while especially some of them are like fortran and atlas might take a little bit longer if you're going to be doing java i recommend that you install this if you're not going to be doing java don't worry about it and then you need to enter this in order to get the let's do it so you know what are you going to get in this case uh i have 3.10 here but about five six days ago they came out with 3.2 so you can change it uh, if you want to go and and stay with 2.4913 you can it's up to you there's a few differences, but it's, it's almost the same. Uh, the, new, the old one still has uh, the old code, the old legacy code, C and C++. The new one, I believe, it doesn't have it anymore. But uh, everything else is practically the same. Okay, so let's say that you go, let's say that you decide to go with the 3.20 zip. You will hit enter. If you want to change it, of course, you just change it to 2.49, right? Okay. So you hit zip, and it's going to start recording, downloading, and I'm going to stop it. As you can see, it's going 32, 33. I'm going to stop it because I already have it. So I'll stop it. Okay. Clear these. And as you can see, you're going to get a zip file that looks like that. So all you need to do is go on zip. And the name of the file and it's good and it's yours is gonna go ls so just unzip I don't want to make it too big because then you're gonna have a hard time reading whatever I'm doing on the screen and then zip and then you will go okay once you do that it's going to unzip it and it's going to create a file like this one right here. Stable. It's going to create a file like this one right there. Okay. You're going to go in there into that file. And it's going to have a bunch of files. Okay. Don't worry about all of those files there. Yours is not going to look like that. Not yet. So don't worry about it. Clear. So right now we're like right here, okay? Most of the files now are not, you don't need tar, so don't worry about it. All you need is uh, unzip, okay? So now you're gonna create a directory called build. It's make directory build. So you're gonna go make directory build. And it's gonna create a directory called build, like it's right there. Okay, once you create that directory, you're gonna go into that directory 
and you're going to be inside that directory like I'm doing here. Okay, and once in that directory, you're going to include all of this big long uh, command. Okay, all you're in instructing CMake to build your stuff. Some of these are not going to be on for you. Some of them you don't. If you're not using legacy code or if you downloaded the newest version, you don't need that. If you don't need the examples, it's up to you. This you need. If you're going to be using Qt, then this you need. I don't use Qt, but you can. OpenGL, yes. Video for Linux, yes. If you're going to be using a CUDA GPU, then you need CUDA on. If you are not using CUDA, if you don't have a CUDA GPU, don't worry about it. Just leave that out, leave that out of there. If you're going to be doing some Python, then I will recommend that. If you're going to be doing IPP threading, uh, with TBB, then the IPP Intel libraries, then I guarantee, you know, I recommend that you do that. And these two periods, you have to include them. You're telling the software to go up one directory and find the CMake uh, list text file. Okay, if you don't include those two, nothing is going to happen. Okay, once you hit that, it's going to configure it's going to make sure that everything is there if it gives you an error it will let you know that you're missing something so make sure that you that you download whatever you are missing it might say that uh, you did, you don't have video for linux v4l so all you need to do is sudo app get installed v4l or that's just an example you might be missing one of these guys here okay so just so don't worry about it. Just go and, uh, and 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 find it and install it. Once you're then done with all of these, we've done all of these here. Okay. So now you're ready to make. So you're gonna go into your. After I show you, you're gonna go sudo. Actually, it's just make. Or just to be sure, sudo make. I think make is enough. And then it's gonna make. It's gonna make a, a, a make file. It's gonna make a, a C make files. It's gonna create a whole bunch of files inside that build directory. Excuse me. At this moment, it's empty, but it won't be empty for long. Once you hit make, it's gonna start populating it with all uh, with a bunch of files. Okay. And then once it is done, let it do its thing. When it is done, you're gonna go sudo make install and now you're telling the system see make to start installing all of those files it's going to take a while it might take a couple hours depending on how fast your computer if you're doing the raspberry pi it's going to take a lot longer so if you're using for those guys out there using the raspberry pi this will take a while okay once it is done you're going to enter this command right here into your computer going to sudo and actually you you don't you can get out completely so not to get you confused and go sudo let me clean up this and go sudo nano and go into that directory into that file OpenCV configuration file you open it and it's going to be empty. Yours is going to be empty. So all you need to do is put this into the file. Okay. And then control X, get out of there. This is what I'm doing right here. Okay. If you follow along, you'll be fine. So once you're done, now you need to do sudo ld config. I'm doing it with you because. You can mess up here and then nothing will work. And then just hit sudo ld config and then it's going to configure. Okay, so that one is done. So now we got to do the other one. This one is just as important as that other one. So you're going to go into that file. And you're going to go paste. And it's going to bring you inside this file. You're going to go all the way to the bottom here. And... Don't worry about this stuff. Mine is going to be different from yours. You need to put this inside there. Just like I have it here. You see it? 
you're going to put all of that copy and paste into the file. It's going to go in there. Okay? Don't worry about this stuff. This is this is for the CUDA stuff. If you're using CUDA, then you can do something current. But uh, I will be doing another tutorial for all those CUDA users because it can get complicated. So let's just do this and then Control X and then say yes. In my case, I'm going to say no. And then you're going to exit and open the terminal again. So make sure that it gets saved. Okay. You can also use source batch RC. I just use exit. It's the same thing. Okay. And now we're ready to test. If everything is fine, the example should be working. So I'm, we're going to go here to text, to test, sorry. And then let's go, actually, mine is in a different directory. So just open CV stable and then open CV 2.413 samples folder and then CPPs for C++. And you're going to see a bunch of files there, sample files. Don't worry about those. We're going to be working with a lot of those. I created one here. You can copy from, I actually, I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to do that right now, actually. I'm going to go nano ex2 c++. And I'm just going to copy it right now before I forget copy and put it right here and just all you need to do is copy and paste that code into your editor okay so all you need to do is go copy into your editor go nano x to one, well, in your case, it's going to be empty, right? So I'm just, I'm just going to and paste, copy and paste, okay? And then once you copy and paste, make sure that it's asking you here for a building shape. All we don't worry about any, any of this stuff. We're going to go in detail about this stuff. For now, I just want to make sure that OpenCV is working on your computer. So just make sure that 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 image or whatever image that you're opening is in your directory or you're telling it where to find it because if not it's going to give you an error okay so let me show you what i'm saying you see that image that i have here i think i put it in here or it came already so make sure it's there okay if not it's going to throw you an error it's supposed to be in the same directory or if it's not in the same directory, you're supposed to be telling uh, your program where to find it. You know all that stuff. Okay. And once you do that, we're ready for compilation. So we're going to go G++, EX, C++, and then we're going to go the objective file, and then the executable the name of the name of the executable and this very important here you're going to do this is not a quote this is on top of your tab key I don't know what is that called I don't know what they call it but it's not a quote it's not a single quote so don't do a single quote or it won't work you're gonna go open CV C flags and then lips to make sure that this stuff works do the same thing again it's a single it's not a single quote it's that key there on top of the tab on the left most corner there and then you hit enter and it's going to compile this file and it's going to create this executable called ext 2.1 Let's check to make sure it's there. I just want to show you, and there it is. You see it's a different color, and it's missing the extension. Okay, that means it's, uh, it's ready to go to test. So we run it, and now it will go x to 1, and it will open 
the image, whatever image you put in. If, every, if you follow me, all these steps, if you follow here, all these steps here, you should be seeing the same picture. If you want to try your Python, you can go do the same for Python. You will go here, control C, instead of C++, you'll get out of here. You go into Python 2, ls, find a file, and go Python. If they all have that color, they're all ready to go. So let's go and find Python Turing. It's not here anymore. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yes, it is. Turing Pi. And make sure that you are, that you've, uh, if you see that, your Python is working. Everything is working the way it's supposed to be working. This is the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorials, we'll go more in depth into each one of these files. We'll be doing C++ for OpenCV on Linux and on the Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe and, and follow me on GitHub and Twitter. And have a great day, and thanks for watching.